Hello YouTube, this is Asatsu5, and as the title implies, I want to talk about bulletproof, waterproof, idiot-proof, foolproof. What is the proof? And um, a lot of times in the world of, you know, bulletproof vests or um, watches, um, you uh, you hear the term that it's not bulletproof, it's bulletresistant, which you don't hear that as uh, often as on in watches. It's not waterproof, it's water-resistant. And I think that people who are throwing these terms around really don't understand what the proof is. Um, so um, uh, I'm here to say that something can be bulletproof or proved, however you want to um, uh, use it, or it can be waterproof or waterproofed. So um, uh, this, the earliest uh, example I can think of of something being bulletproof or bulletproofed. Um, is with the Knight's Cross or Crossier, which I think is the French uh, uh, pronunciation. Uh, it's the torso armor. It's not. It's not the mail. It's not the gambeson. It's the. Um, it's not even the pl pl coat of plates. It's the solid breastplate that protects the torso. It's called the cross or Crossier. Um, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, I don't claim to be an expert in medieval things. It's an interest of mine, but I'm no. I don't have a doctorate in it. I'm not an archaeologist. Uh, I'm just a hobbyist, but um, uh, these uh, crassiers or cross uh, worked until firearms came around. So what do you do uh, when uh, uh, firearms are punching holes in uh, the breastplate? You strengthen them, you make them thicker, you heat treat them um, uh, properly. And when a customer is wanting to look and buy your product, what is the proof that it will stop a bullet? Well, there's a little indention in the cross. Um, the uh, maker or the blacksmith, the armor, whatever you want to call them, um, will shoot it with a um, um, gun, probably a, a max lock or wheel lock, um, depending. I don't know. I'm not an expert on this. I'm just telling you the, the stuff that I know. But the, the cross will be shot. There'll be an indention in it. And then that's the proof that it will stop the bullet. It's been proved. So, you know, proved by a, an experiment that it will stop a bullet. So that's where we get the term bullet proof, or that it's been proved. So, um, you know, uh, in Europe, this is quite common. Uh, when a gun is made, it'll go to a proving house, and they'll put a uh, excessive amount of uh, gunpowder in a bullet, or they'll load it in a muzzle loader, or whatever. So, if it's a uh, a murdering gun or a, a muzzle loader, whatever the case is, they'll put a uh, they'll overcharge the shot, and they'll shoot the gun. And if the gun survives, they put a stamp on it. Um, and this stamp could be anything from a, a geometric shape to um, you know. A star and a circle or um, you know it could be many different things depending on the time period and um, you know what country is coming from I'm not an expert on proof marks but I do know it's a thing and so um, um, anyways uh, they'll put a stamp on it and this basically says this weapon is fit to use it it will handle normal rounds and it shouldn't screw up on you when you really need it and um, so it's not a trademark. It doesn't show that it's made by a particular person. It shows that it's been tested and that you can rely on it. It works. It's not weak. It's strong. So that's the proof mark that's on the um, gun. And so it's been proved to, uh, to be su uh, sufficient. Uh, in, in the United States, we have something very similar, except instead of stamping the gun, we leave the uh, brass cartridge in the um, uh, box of the new gun but um, anyway so that's proof uh, you're getting proof um, that something has passed that test so can we say that vest or bulletproof yes if um, uh, they might not have the proof on them but we've seen videos of people getting shot with bulletproof vest that's the proof that it will stop a bullet in fact the guy who invented the bulletproof vest that we know at the Kevlar vest uh, to prove, again, that word, uh, that it works, is that he shot himself in the abdomen and then turned around and shot targets right after he shot himself. 
there was a lot of trust in that, trust in your invention. And when people saw that he was willing to shoot himself, um, they were like, oh, man, this is really good. I want to use this. I want to trust my life to it. So you can absolutely use the term bulletproof. Bulletproof doesn't mean that it's impervious to all bullets. Obviously, it's not going to stop a 50 BMG. But, um, <coughs> excuse me. But if it stops, you know, like, let's just say handgun rounds. It's bulletproof to handgun rounds. If it's ceramic armor, it's bulletproof to whatever caliber. So, a lot of times in the watch world, the, uh, they'll say it's not waterproof, it's water resistant. And, um... I'm willing to say if you have a diver watch that um, is um, rated to be a diver or uh, you have a Casio that um, is rated to 200 meters, uh, for, personally I trust um, the divers over the Casios, but I'd, I'd, I'd swim with a Casio. Uh, they say it's not waterproof, it's water resistant, and their argument is, well, if you uh, dive down deep enough or you hit the water hard enough that it will fail. Therefore, it's not bulletproof it, or waterproof. It's water resistant. Well, we can look at the uh, uh, bulletproof vest again. We could say, well, it, it those are resistant to different bullet um, uh, uh, calibers as well. They're resistant to certain degrees depending on which one you buy. So the same can be say, uh, said about uh, waterproof or um, being water resistant. But um, this is where things get tricky. Uh, where is the proof mark on the watch? On the higher end watches, they might have a proof mark, you know, that um, if you open up the case, it might have a stamp on engraving that says, um, you know, been tested at, to this um, a depth of pressure. I, I have um, seen those before, not in person, but, you know, on the screen, um, you know, YouTube and such. And uh, usually on divers, um, It'll say uh, 20 bar or uh, 200 meters or whatever. And there's a difference between a um, diver watch and a water resistant watch. Uh, that's why I say water uh, diver watches, are, I would be willing to say, are waterproof. Um, but um, uh, they just have uh, at the uh, 6 o'clock position that says water um, resistant to 20 bar or 200 meters. Um, or it might have the IP, IPX rating. Um, but, um, you know, the, to me, that's the proof. The proof is that it's on there. It's making the statement that it will survive that. Um, kind of like when you buy a Swiss watch, and this can be easily counterfeited, but um, kind of the proof uh, that uh, shows that it's an actual Swiss watch. I don't have a Swiss watch on me at the moment. Uh, but on the 6 o'clock position, it'll say Swiss made. And by law, only Swiss watches can have that. So you can kind of use it as proof. It's like, yeah, this was made in Switzerland. Um, you know, only those watches are allowed to have that on the watches. doesn't mean someone can fake it. It doesn't mean that a uh, poor armorer in the medieval times could get a crappy piece of armor, get a little bobbing hammer and hammer it and say that's the bulletproof. Doesn't mean that proof marks can't be counterfeited, but they are generally accepted to be the proof that it, it that it um, to the claim that it's making. You know, this watch is a Swiss watch. This watch uh, can survive 200 meters um, for X amount of time. Uh, this uh, vest or this uh, chest plate will stop bullets. Um, but. Um, to me, you know, when they when people overemphasize it's resistant to something not proved, then they're kind of missing the um, concept of the proof, the proof, uh, the proof test, or the the proving grounds. You know, they don't know quite what they're talking about because uh, the the proof is the test and the symbol or claim that it's been that it passed that test, and uh, resistant just means that it'll resist to a certain level. Um, to me, the only things that are indestructible that I know of is asbestos and water barrels. Um, so, um, there's few, few things in life that are completely impervious to everything. Um, you know, not saying there's not other things that are, but th that just off the top of my head, on Earth, those are the things, you know, um, 
uh, that um, you know we can touch and say, "Yep, that's indestructible." Um, that's the video. I'm going to try to keep it somewhat short, but feel free to use the term waterproof or bulletproof. It is a real thing. And just because someone says, oh, it's not bulletproof, it's bullet resistant, or no, it's not waterproof, uh, it's water resistant. Resistant basically means the level that it is bulletproof or waterproof. Uh, so that's it. That's the video. Hope y'all enjoy y'all's day. I'm a Satsu 5, and I'm out.